Okay, Tampa Bay, Arizona. Last game on Christmas. How bad is Tom Brady? That's what this game, that's what we're calling this game. How bad is Tom Brady? If Tom Brady loses to Trace McSorley and, and the Cardinals here, I think we're going to have quite a few talking points over the holiday season. Tampa Bay, seven and a half point favorites, 40 and a half point total, 189 and a half passing yards. We're hitting the over on a lean at plus 106. Very low total if you look at some things. You look at the total of 40 and a half, low passing total. Arizona roofed game, whatever you want to call it, indoor game, optimal passing conditions. And we have game script at plus seven and a half. There's a lot of things to like about taking this low total. It might not feel good, but a lot of the time when we're betting these props, that's usually the right side. Yeah, it really is. You know, you find the gross quarterback with the low total and it's pretty good conditions. Like this is going to be most likely closed roof. It's going to be an indoor game, no wind, especially on a week where there's a lot of bad weather and a lot of other spots. Uh, the blitz is projecting like in the mid two hundreds, like 250, 260 for McSorley last I looked and we're getting them at under 200 here at, you know, a little bit of plus money. So this is, uh, definitely shows a, a good amount of value. 189 and a half, seven and a half point dog, basically indoors totals at 40 and a half. The conditions are good to hit this even in garbage time. Garbage time's obviously handicapped into this process. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's a big part of this. We should be expecting them to be passing a bunch in the second half. He does have, you know, especially if Brown is good to go, he does have some pretty good guys to throw to. And, uh, you know, that recency bias is big. You know, interceptions are, they look bad, but they're pretty random. And, like, we know Trace McSorley is not a good quarterback, but just, you know, under, under, no matter what, he came in in relief and, like, well, he's got a whole week to prepare now, which is going to help him, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just don't overreact to what you saw in a limited sample size recently. That's what it comes down to. And I would assume this would be a pace up spot for the Arizona offense with Tampa Bay passing at, what, 67% on the year? Yeah, both of these teams play very fast, in particular Tampa Bay. This actually projects as the second fastest pace game of the week, so that's going to help a lot here. Fantastic. Let's jump over to another one I really like. Rashad White, under 12 and a half carries, plus 104. A lot of this might look like a great spot as a seven and a half point favorite here, game script dependent. Leonard Fortnette ate into some carries last week. He outsnapped White, 43 to 29, 10 carries, 44 yards to White's 11 for 38. And White, over his last three games, just 3.5 yards per carry. And like I said, Tampa Bay still passing at an elite level, 67% on the year, 71% in their last three. Yeah, this is, uh, like you said, Fournette going to eat into the carries a little bit. Um, it's it's really just Rashad White is like the fun new toy that everybody likes, but the Blitz is projecting a little bit under here. We're getting it a little bit plus money. We've seen the market move a little bit this way already. I, I've seen at least one book with an 11 and a half now, so... It's not like a massive value one, but I think there's a little bit here. Yeah, I think we've hit a peak here in the Rashad White market. We're seeing TD prices at about minus 165, which is kind of disgusting knowing that Fournette's getting 50-50% of the snaps right now, or more more of the snaps, but 50% of the carries. So I think uh, this, this market's been heavily inflated, especially for a guy that used to have a rushing total of 23 and a half. Uh, so let's hit the under there on 12 and a half carries and McSorley over 189 and a half passing yards, both leans, both plus money. That will wrap up Christmas football here. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Cardi. These are his blitz projections brought to you by Covers. Monday night football still on the go as primetime doesn't stop in week 16.